Let's go on to another case. A 25-year-old male presents to the emergency department with a severe pulsatile headache for one hour. He says that he's having palpitations and sweating. He adds that he has had uh, several similar episodes in the past, which resolved without seeking medical attention. He is a non-smoker and does not drink alcohol. He denies the use of any illicit drugs. He looks anxious and diaphoretic. His temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. His respirations are 25 breaths per minute. Pulse rate is 107 and blood pressure is 228 over 160. A CT scan of the abdomen reveals an adrenal mass. What is the next step in the management of this patient? Based on the clinical suspicion of, formulated by the presentation of this patient, a pheochromocytoma or a adrenaline secreting tumor of the adrenal gland is very high on the differential. Usually this manifests as the classic triad of diaphoresis, headache, and tachycardia. CT scan findings also suggest that there is an adrenal mass which would go along with the diagnosis. The next best step in the management of this patient would be to order a 24-hour urine metanephrine and catecholamine level to confirm the diagnosis. Phenoxybenzamine is a non-competitive alpha blocker and is given seven to 10 days prior to surgery for patients needing resection for their pheochromocytoma. This medication blocks alpha receptors in blood vessels. This is then followed by beta blockade using a non-selective beta blocker like propanolol, which acts on the beta receptors in the heart and kidney to lower blood pressure further. Beta blockade should be done when all the alpha-1 receptors are already blocked, or else the cir circulating catecholamines may stimulate alpha-1 receptors, precipitating a hypertensive crisis.